Discover a trail for every taste throughout the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina and Virginia. We call it the Cascade Highlands, a nine county area including in Virginia, Smith, Grayson, Carroll, and Patrick counties. And in North Carolina, Allegheny, Wilkes, Stokes, Surrey, and Yadkin counties. All rich in history, culture, recreation, viticulture, festivals, and events. You'll call it a great time. And now for a recap of what these two states have to offer that make up the beauty and wonder of the Cascade Highlands. In Virginia, we call it the Blue Ridge Highlands, the state where the northernmost point of the famed Blue Ridge Parkway begins. One of the primary purposes of a parkway is to provide a driving experience to the travelers. And it was designed for that. It was designed for a leisurely drive through the mountains. Everybody loves the parkway. They call it their road. Once they find it, they want to come here again. Yeah, just a, it's a great drive. You know, there's lots to see and do. It's uh, 469 miles long, and uh, there's a little bit of something for everybody up here. Well, it's a varied landscape of the introduction to the whole Southern Highlands. You get agricultural landscapes, pastoral, peaceful uh, farmlands, and dramatic, breathtaking, distant mountain views. A memorable musical trek throughout the Blue Ridge Highlands can be found along the Crooked Road. The Crooked Road was developed for people traveling through southwest of Virginia to experience what music is and the type of musical heritage that is in this area. Up first is the Blue Ridge Music Center at mile 213 on the beautiful Blue Ridge Parkway. It's a big time, you know, people like Ricky Skaggs and, and you know, big Grand Ole Opry stars play there. A joint partnership between the National Park Service and the National Council for the Traditional Arts developed this state-of-the-art outdoor amphitheater. Open June through September, the center's sole purpose is to interpret and present traditional music of the Blue Ridge Mountains. If it's a cardiovascular workout you're looking for, look no further than the New River Trail State Park. The New River Trail is a linear park. It's 57 miles long. Uh, it runs uh, 39 miles of it, runs parallel with the New River. Uh, the river's, uh, the New River's the second oldest river. It runs north. This river is so pure on a clear day in the summer, you can see the bottom at 10 feet. There's good smallmouth fishing. You can also catch some uh, walleye, which are very good eating. And you can also occasionally catch a muskie. And the New River Trail starts here in Freeze and, and goes 59 miles to Pulaski. It's set up on an old railroad bed that has, has been abandoned and it's a state park in Virginia. Uh, last year it was the second most visited park in the state. A lot of bike riding, uh, hiking, and uh, horseback riding here. Beautiful trail. It's a great trail. It's well graded. Yeah, well graded. Easy beautiful, to ride. Beautiful scenery. It's very well maintained. I found a new favorite spot today. Every time I go out I think, oh, that's even nicer than the last time I sat down to take a break. It's absolutely gorgeous. And when it comes to even more breathtaking views in the Blue Ridge Highlands, Mount Rogers has some of the best. The total trail miles that Mount Rogers manages is a little over 500. We have about 11 campgrounds. Four of those are for horse use. There are a lot of different opportunities that people can take advantage of here. You can camp. Uh, there are a lot of private cabins in the area. There's the Grayson Highlands State Park that's right nearby and just many, many different choices that folks have. It's some of the greatest scenery in Virginia. Crossing over into North Carolina, the Cascade Highlands share much of the same area as the Yadkin Valley AVA, or American Viticultural Area, where vineyards and wineries are sprouting up all over. The Yadkin Valley wine region is an uh, area in the Piedmont of Northwest North Carolina, and it's composed of clay loam soils, um, a lot of good growing areas, and a suitable area for a number of different grape varietals. It's both soil and climate and um, 
just the weather that we have at harvest, it, it just is really conducive to the grapes. It's a rather large area, but it's got a real agricultural tradition, um, a lot of interesting people and places, and it's just a real exciting place to be right now. It's really bringing a lot of tourism into the area. Um, we get people from all over the United States, not just this area, coming to see us. There can be some really, really nice fruit come out of this region, and it has already. And fruit that's won awards from uh, against wines from all over the world. We have. We won. It. We're proud. It, right out of the chute, everything that's been uh, uh, that's been entered has won, um, and not just. Uh, uh, you know, not just local awards, but international awards. And I think that says an awful lot. Um, I think you can taste the Yakin Valley in our wines. Throughout the 1960s, America fell in love with the Andy Griffith Show. How lucky the Yakin Valley was to be home to Mount Airy, the small town Mayberry was modeled after. With nearby Pilot Mountain, or Mount Pilot, as it was referred to on the show, as a spectacular backdrop. Rock outcroppings are one of the Yadkin Valley's most unique natural wonders, like Hanging Rock State Park. Well, Hanging Rock State Park has been around since the 1930s. It was uh, created because citizens of Stokes County and uh, Winston-Salem got together, raised money, bought 3,000 acres and donated it to the state because this is such a special place. They wanted to be preserved for all time for the citizens of North Carolina and the, and the guests of North Carolina. What most people come for is the incredible scenery. Uh, you can hike to overlooks on Moore's Knob, Cook's Wall, and of course Hanging Rock itself. And there's a reason the park's named for Hanging Rock. The rock is spectacular and the, uh, the view is incredible. There are five waterfalls, a beautiful 12 acre mountain lake, and, and it draws people here and they come back because they, they, it, it becomes special to people. They come here to vacation, they enjoy it, it's relaxing, it's beautiful, and so they just come back and they bring their families back for generations. Finally, water is an important natural resource throughout the Yadkin Valley, like the man-made lake and miles of trails that can be found at W. Carscott Dam and Reservoir. We've put in nearly 30 miles of multi-user single track trail since approximately 2003. The trails here are great. Uh, Dark Mountain is one of the best trails that I've ever been on. Uh, the Elder Mountain Victory Trail is great for beginners. Uh, Warrior Creek, this is a, about the third time I've been on this trail and it is awesome. Uh, this section here that we just rode is outstanding. Our trails are really unique to those statewide as in they are primarily for cyclists, hikers, trail runners, or even bird watchers. I think there's something for everybody. 